Hi, a few kids. What's up? How you doing? I hope you guys are all doing great out there. Welcome to a few kids and me. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here today to see what's going on. It is February the 16th, 2023, and it's 9.57 p.m. So, I hope you had a good day. I had a fairly decent one. Went to work. And if you've never been here before, I do Oracle Index and three decks. Let's get straight to it. I want to say thank you to every single last one of you that have uh, helped me in this channel grow. I appreciate you. So I'm going to use the Priestess of Light Oracle deck today to get a message and then go on down the road to the index and then to the tarot. So, yeah, it's Thursday. Almost Friday, thank goodness. <laughs> I don't work that many days a week, but it's enough. I know I'm like always waiting for Saturday, so I relax. One day in the week, one, one day on the weekend. <laughs> Sometimes two days during the week and one on the weekend. Just depends how, how I'm needed. But however the case, y'all. I hope you guys had a good day. I hope you guys are all feeling well out there. And uh, safe and secure. One more time. All right, guys. It was three cards. Angelic assistance, power over difficulty, and hidden knowledge. Well, hidden knowledge helps you, and, and angelic assistance helps you over difficult situations, you know? So maybe you're going through something at this time, and if you didn't have those other two components you don't know where you would be you know all right divine masculine read today huh all right and i was thinking that too like you know it's always like the ladies in this card priestess of light you know what about the guys so i love that energy that is coming there off of ooh, it's some sort of, I don't know, pillar or a rock or something like that. His crown and his locks. The eagle. I believe that's the eagle. I mean, it could be a falcon or something like that. The bird on his shoulder. And the moon in the background. It says electric. It says active power. Mm-mm. Power, right? Super awesome. So let's read. Why do I always put it over there like I'm not going to hold it up? And the number is eight. Infinite power. Oh, excuse me. Infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear. Okay. <laughs> oh, and for those, I don't know why it just came to my head. I do, but I don't. And why I felt compelled to say it, because that's just how I am. So, like, so random. So, um, it was, like, maybe a week ago. I was at the other table, and, like, maybe two weeks ago. And the index card, um, Watches Cartoons came out, right? And I was trying to remember the name of the um, cartoon that I liked, that I watched not too long ago, a couple years ago. It was Coco. Just in case anybody's watching and remembers when I said that. I just really like that movie. And I just watched, um, two nights ago, I just watched, um, 
the book of life. And those, they seem, you know, kind of similar because they talk about the day of the dead and all this stuff. So, uh, pretty decent little cartoons, but I really like Coco a lot. So here we have this. So it says here, um, this is the card of Osiris, Osiris, master of resurrection. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's why I said it. <laughs> I'm done. He hurdles a time of active, creative energy in your life. He fuses his own inner light with the powerful and eternal vibration of universe, universal consciousness, being newly empowered in every cell and every thought. The hawk that sits on his shoulders has a strong life force and intense energy. This card indicates that you are entering this field of expansive energy at this time. In flight, the hawk has great vision and the ability to communicate with the spirit of creation. And this is an important message for you. You are moving into a time of great creative and productive energy. So let yourself consider what project or activity is calling to your soul. Whether it's a new business, a novel, or a work of art, now is the time to focus on this type of endeavor. Your own resonance vibrates with an absolutely electric connection with universe, universal inspiration. I can't get that word out twice. It's crazy. Universal inspiration and accelerated action. In fact, you may emerge from this time feeling not only reinvigorated, but even reinvented. On a personal level, this card could signify an approaching relationship with a man. It may be a, a new romance, or it could be a strong friendship or business connection. This man brings fresh ideas and dynamic energy into your life, so be conscious of any new opportunities. Remember, as you receive the guidance and support, always to maintain your own creative intention and listen to your own intuitive voice. Ooh. So there's going to be someone that has the power, that is very creative, that has the, um, the force, you know, someone's going to be introduced to you in some realm of uh, your life. So that's awesome. So be on the lookout. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get a couple of these here index cards today. And let's see what we get. There go my dogs. <laughs> it never fails. Never. Never, ever, never, ever. I see a smaller one in here. Let me take that out now. I'm going to ignore them for now. It's not like 10. Oh, it is 10. I 
it's not ten ten what? Oh, it's just ten o'clock. And it starts getting like ten thirty, eleven. You see they, they stop, so it's like it's not too bad. They know like after a certain hour when it's dark out there. Mm mm. We're not doing all that. Did I shuffle all of these? I don't even remember. I think I did. Okay, last one, my teeth. Give me one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. My daughter wanted some gum. And I'm like, oh, you killed yours first. We all get, like, the big pack. <laughs> like, I'm going to the store. I have one. You have one. You know, everybody has their own pack. I'm like, oh, you killed yours first. She's like, I didn't get one. <laughs> I said, yeah, you did. <laughs> you know you did. So. Telling that falsehood. All right. Let me get to this. Let's get it going here. Okay. That's it. So, now let's shuffle and see what comes out. Divine masculine energy, whether you are this magnetic electric energy male or you will be coming into the presence of uh, someone that is just super dynamic, super awesome, super electrifying, very creative, has all the answers supportive, intelligent, all of that. I'm going to keep it. All right, because it just blew out. All right. I'll do it one more time. There we go. Maybe someone is a flight attendant. Taking trips. Maybe you meet someone on your trip that you're helping if you are a flight attendant. Or maybe you meet a... Are there male flight attendants? I don't... I do not see get on plane. I have not since my child was born. We did that to go visit my grandparents, rest their souls. When my child was born, <laughs> a couple of months later, a couple of weeks actually, like six weeks. A little thing and I was scared out of my damn mind. <laughs> oh goodness. So I don't know. I've never seen a male Flight attendant, but I'm quite sure they exist, you know. No, 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 I'll go crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. sweet thing. Shaka Khan, don't you know you my everything? Oh, sweet thing. Don't you know you my everything? Yes, you are. All right, one more time. Mm 
The enemy is tired. Good. My mama loved this song. Rest in peace to her, too. Oh, my goodness. Resurrected energy, huh? <laughs> Bring some things back to life. All right. We are my fire. Never shut my heart up that long. One more time. Can't you hear me talking, baby? Ooh. Someone's name starts with the letter C. Clarissa. That was the first name that came to mind. All right, Shaka Khan. <laughs> We're talking, baby. Let me know. I go crazy. All right. I'll sing this whole song. Okay, so first card out. The haters. Ignore them. Let's bring this down a little bit so we can see what's going on when I get the other cards out here. They got your back. Beautiful. Commitment coming. Mm. Never too busy. Never too busy for you, baby. Never too busy. That's Kenny Lattimore. Ooh. Ooh. And the song in the background says, I'm in love. Oh, someone sees you. This is not... What to do, Terrell? Why do love read? This is a fucus in me. <laughs> no, I'm just fine. It's the best feeling. Ooh, if love comes up, it just comes up. Love is a beautiful energy, okay? Day trip alone. Maybe, you know, you on that day trip and here comes this person. You never know. Essential oils. <laughs> That's so funny. I put uh, tea tree in my lotion and we had a meeting today. And I put some lotion on, and one of my coworkers, one coworker before another one came in, was like, "What's that smell?" I was like, "Oh, it's my lotion. I put tea tree in it." And everybody's like, "Oh, tea tree. You know, I use it for this. Oh, it's good for that." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, it's good." So then the like only guy on the grounds that works with us, he came in. <laughs> well, no, there's two guys on our grounds, so. One guy came in and he said, what's that smell? <laughs> and everybody pointed to me. <laughs> like, I said, it's me, it's me. He said, what is that? And I was like, I said, what is it? Like, eucalyptus? I said, no, it's tea tree. <laughs> he was like, oh. I said, uh, yeah, I like tea tree, okay? It smells wonderful. Skeptical or incredulous? All right. So kind of not for sure or someone's acting a little you know uh, not too solid tomorrow isn't here yet one day at a time you could care less man so life is a quest oh yes it is isn't it it's a lot of purple energy up here i'm in love all right Breakthrough. Hmm, awesome. Okay, now to the small cards. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Someone's name starts with the letter X, middle or last, maybe. Uh, they are in necessary phases and steps at this time. Okay. Uh, time to pray. Think about. Oh. Thinking about generations. Well, after you. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it, right? Continue to climb the ladder. You're almost there. I've been looking for you, haven't you heard? Patrice Russian. Take heed to your dreams. Relax. It will be all right. Someone is a veterinary or thinking of being a veterinarian. Maybe you take your dog to the veterinarian and you've been taking him there for a while and he's single or something. I don't know. I don't know. Meet up locally. <laughs> mm. No alterations needed. None at all. Something is hidden. Okay. Play it safely out there. Pray for them. You have time to pray and pray for them. Okay. All right. Paperwork daily. <laughs> don't like the paperwork. You know exactly what to do. They are insensitive. Hmm. There we have your our young grandma, our gorgeous young grandpa. Um, keep your ideas to yourself until you finished working on them. Okay, don't let any negative energy come in and uh, excuse me, sway you a different way. Uh, distant lover. Love it. That's Marvin Gaye. Love it, love it. Hell no. Period. Mm -mm, something that mm -mm, don't you think about it. Ooh, till death do us part 100%. Bye bye, haters. Don't vibe that way. Chocolate is his favorite. By leaps and bounds. Oh, a miracle. That was your first. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was your first small card. So you have it two times. So something is just like heaven sent. Like it's like a miracle. <laughs> Very productive. All right. Someone's name starts with the letter W, middle or last name, possibly. Someone's jealous of your life. Maybe because you, you know, this wonderful person came into your life. Twins, triplets, or more? Mm. It's a difficult decision. Someone's name starts with the letter R. Middle or last name. You're the highest in the room. So you have a lot of knowledge. You're very intelligent. Okay. Two-faced, wishy-washy one day. Yeah, next day, nah. Watch out for them type of people. And you have the power. <laughs> yeah, you do. So, um... Awesome. Do I want to use all three seers? Why not? All right, here we go. Use all three seers today. They're still going crazy. All right, guys, here we go. Where's the first deck? I appreciate you. You are the highest in the room. You have the power, okay? Life is a quest. It's a breakthrough moment. Relax, everything will be all right. There's a commitment coming. The haters, ignore them. It's a miracle, okay? Maybe like essential oils, it's time to pray. Pray for them, all right? Someone's been looking for you. Someone's name starts with the letter W or X. They are insensitive. You know exactly what to do. Maybe you do a lot of paperwork, okay? Maybe you're a veterinarian or would like to be. Uh, maybe you are going on a day trip alone. Okay. Someone is never too busy. And uh, tell the bye bye. Tell the haters bye bye. You don't vibe that way. By leaps and bounds, you're very productive. Someone's jealous of your life. Okay. It's a difficult decision. Maybe your name starts with the letter R. Maybe your young grandma or Grandpa, don't tell anyone your ideas until you finish them. Tomorrow isn't here yet, one day at a time. Okay. Take heed to your dreams. Continue to drive 
climb the ladder, you're almost there. You're thinking about generations well after you. Okay. You can care less. And so they're, they are in need of necessary steps at this time. Meet up locally. Maybe you have a distant lover. lover. All right. And so death do its part. And two-faced, wishy-washy one day. Yeah, next day, no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Chocolate is his favorite. Okay. Something is hidden. Play it safe. By leaps and bounds, you are moving. Did I say maybe you like essential oils already? And someone is a little skeptical. Or you're skeptical of someone. And someone has your back. No alterations are needed. Okay. So, and a commitment is coming. It's the best feeling. It's a breakthrough. I haven't said that either. All right. And someone's insensitive. And twins, triplets are more. Ooh. That's a lot of work, baby. All right. One more time. That did not go well. One. There we go. Okay. Oh, walking away from burdens. Bye bye, haters. I don't rock that way. I have learned how to overcome my obstacles and uh, not look back. Yeah, life is a quest, and you knew exactly what to do. Hmm. Guess I'll keep it. It came out. So here you have Ace of Pentacle in reverse. So that's a brand new beginning that hasn't begun. It hasn't. It hasn't. That's all I could say is it. it Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like, I knew I saw that card. The haters, ignore them. Bye-bye haters. Don't vibe that way. Or my deck? No, deck is not in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So, it's like, yeah, you, this opportunity just hasn't happened yet. You know? Hmm. So, they did talk about this person coming into your life. You know? That probably will change your life. Like just change it like seriously i got shoes like that's crazy now nah, i've been looking for you maybe not even on a love tip you know like just i've been looking for someone like you to work with my whole life like you're awesome you are intelligent why you know where have you been you know but i found you now you know, so it just hasn't happened yet. Life is a quest. And if you look at life like that, you'll enjoy it so much more. You know, you will be all right. Just relax. Excuse me. And and not to the point to where it's like, oh my gosh, it's today, it is today, it is today, it just... Go with the flow. Just be ready to receive it whenever it comes about, you know? Wow. The man with the power, the man with the master plan, the man that is looking for you. To work with you, to give you this golden opportunity. So you can focus on your generations well after you. Maybe you meet up locally and talk about a business plan or something like that. I mean, it can be love, you know. I'm not saying that it, it can't be. It can be. But, you know, when we talk about... Um, ideas and creativities and things like that you know usually it's like love and work you know like balancing that out like, but like i said it's not like you guys it can't be a, a perfect 
you know, uh, team that uh, works together, you know, and in love. Mm, it's possible. Tomorrow isn't here yet. One day at a time. That's right. Why do they keep falling way over yonder? That was the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, like I said, it may not even be about love. You know. Well. Interesting. So, here I have the Four of Wands that came out, which is Foundation, and then the um, Queen of Swords in reverse. So... Let's just say, for instance, you haven't you haven't begun on this journey with this person or something. Let's just say, for instance, you're you're in, you're talking about it or something like that, but it just hasn't taken off yet or something like that. Now, this foundation, this, or let's just let's just say this. Let's say that you're not even talking with anyone yet. But you have been working diligently on yourself, you know, climbing this ladder of life and having a plan, you know, uh, regardless if this person wants to work with you or not, you're still going to move on. So with this, it's just like you haven't got your break yet and you're not talking to anyone or telling anyone about how you see your future. You know, you're not you're not talking about those things with anybody, right? Keep your ideas to yourself. And that's what you're doing. Good job. That's exactly what you're doing. You're not um you're not um talking to people about everything that's going on in your life. And everything that you plan on doing, everything that you, you know, uh, want to do and all these things. Mm -mm. You're, you're doing it how you see fit. And that's just minding your own business, basically. <laughs> you know exactly what to do. Uh, that's uh, James Brown. So like, I don't care about your bad. <laughs> And maybe that's what this guy is saying, you know, like, I don't care about your past or anything like that, you know, I'm here to help you and what do you say? You want to satisfy a boss? Or I never heard, I, if I've heard this song, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> three of uh, cups. So that is, you know, happiness, friendship, um, partnership, you know, like I said, friendship. So it's just like, you know, um, like I said, I don't think this, this dynamic friendship, partnership or whatever has taken place yet or maybe you're in like i said maybe it's like maybe they did come into your life or something like that and it's just barely getting started you know like you just met up locally to talk about some things you know but nothing has really started you know Wow. So, yeah. Thinking about generations well after you. You know, once you start this beautiful relationship with this business partner or someone that is very well off that wants to come in and, like I said, I don't care about your past. I don't care about your thoughts. I'm here to change your life. Ooh, okay. You know, <laughs> you know, 
All right. <laughs> because they still see something in you. They, they just, they know that you're worthy of this beautiful life that they're trying to give to you. And they want you to be able to swim into a space of um, happy and calm, you know. And um, that's why everybody's jealous of you because you've been keeping to yourself. You've been working on yourself and doing everything that you feel that you need to do for yourself, your life. And the right time, divine timing, this person came along, right? The magician, two of cups again in reverse. Now, I'm telling you, I put that card, not to believe I did, but however, it still came out. Oh, gosh. So here's Emperor. <laughs> so, power, man, just everything, you know, uh, the emperor just speaks you know to me um this divine masculine you know so like i said it could be love you know and I, like i'm just here to change your life they have your back okay has money okay i mean that's like the dream a miracle you know like where did you come from me you know <laughs> i'm like yeah you yeah. so i've been looking for you I'm like i've been looking for someone just like you you know so wow Ooh -wee. so now you have this here devil all right so like i said yeah they're jealous of your life i believe that that's what that is this energy around you you know and that is upset that you are uh, so focused and things are like falling in your lap you know falling out of the sky for you like why why them? You know. So here with the seven of swords, this person uh, is not going to be deceptive or lying or, you know, telling you partial truths or anything like that. And here with the six of pentacles in reverse, that's equal hand in hand. Like I do something, you do something. That is like you don't have to do nothing, you know. Like, you don't have to. I, I'm here to give it to you. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's crazy. Not in reverse. Okay. So, Nine of Pentacles here. So, with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. That's that's just saying that you know you you hadn't reached your your level of success yet to me you know like you knew that there was still more to come you know but um you just hadn't got to that yet you were still you were just working on yourself and then here comes this person so here with the Queen of Cups here. Like I said, I don't know if this is a loving relationship, really, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't think it, it, I don't really think it has anything to do with love. Because even when I saw the four of wands, I wasn't like, ooh, you know, marriage. I'm just like, you know, a foundation, you know, uh, for you to, to start and help yourself like they're going to come in and they're not expecting anything back from you they really just want to help you and this is not i don't think it's love but this person is just a divine being you know like sent from the heavens you know and um they just want to help you it has nothing to do with love 
looking, but he's been looking for you. Someone that, you know, he can help or someone, I don't know. He just, I don't know where this person came from, where they're going to come from, where they see you at, how they see you. But, um, I don't, I don't know. It's going to be something to do with, uh, some sort of business adventure. Eight of Wands in reverse. So, like I said, it's, there's no there's no movement here. That this is just something that is going to come about, and it's not in love. Okay, Ten of Swords. You've had a lot of dark days in your past. A lot of hurt. A lot of um, things that didn't go right. You know. Uh, situations, relationships, you know, that could possibly lead you to uh, a pit of thinking about things uh, constantly not working out or will never work out because of the past and how things went before. But, um, wow, let's keep going. It's the second deck of uh, Sears. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. So, yeah, basically it just looks like to me that this King of Pentacles person, this Divine Masculine, that sees um, the greatness in you and all of your potential really wants to help you. They're not looking for anything back from you or any type of anything but your good energy, maybe, if it has something to do with, like, a partnership. Um, but investing money-wise, they're not looking for that. They're not looking for an investment from you. They want to invest in you. So that's really cool. They see how hard that you've been working. One more time. <laughs> what did he say? One thing that we want is true love. And we, what did he just say? Hold on. Oh Lord, I took it all the way back. Freaking. I don't know why I can't shrink. Shrink the page. Okay, whatever. Maybe I'll hear it again before the end of the read. But however the case. He said something like it's not love or something like that. Like, yeah, it's not love. I don't know if I... Hold on a second. Eight of Swords. So, like I said, with that Ten of Swords over there, you know, you've had a lot of restless, sleepless nights, you know, from your past. But, um, and thinking, you know, when will I ever have this opportunity? You know, when will someone take me serious? Or when will someone pick up my idea? Or when will life change? Okay, you're about to have this breakthrough. Clan of Swords. 
That's what's right here. All right. So after it's all said and done, yeah, then you can talk about everything. You can tell everybody whatever you want to tell them because it's already done. They can't mess up anything, you know. But right now, you, or you just weren't talking about, excuse me, your ideas and things like that. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, maybe you had got to a point where you, like I said, you felt that nobody was taking you serious or something like that. And you kind of were taking a break or something um, from trying to um, maybe, you know, put out or produce um, or get some sort of response to something that you're doing. So it's like you were just taking a break from it. Um, and that's interesting, like, if I just thought, like, maybe you put in for something or, you know, put in some sort of, I don't know, um, like a resume or like a couple months ago or, you know, wanted someone to get back with you or something like that. You just figured that they didn't want you because they didn't respond or something like that and then they come responding to you months later like oh my gosh i was on vacation you know and or something you know like or i didn't see this it went to my spam or i don't know you know <laughs> but however it's like you were just taking a break you know from working so hard and then out of nowhere here comes this person so here in knight of wands you're so charismatic you do have the power. You have a lot of energy and beautiful energy that, you know, it's like, that's why this person wants to work with you. Like, they really want to help you. Like, your whole vibe, you know, just all by yourself. Whatever you do, you know, they really like it. Okay, and they really, not like they're trying to steal your idea or anything like that. They just want to help you bring it to life. And you're like, what? Me? Queen of Wands. Yeah, you. <laughs> you, see, you see that fire in the palm of her hand. She's like, I did it. I did it. I sparked the freaking flame and got that pentacle. What? That's what's up. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to put them both back, but here's the king of swords so he's telling you all of how beautiful you are and all these things and then you have the ten of swords like you don't have to ever you can walk away that's why you have the ten of wands you can walk away from all of that nonsense like the james brown song uh i don't care about your past i don't care about your thoughts you need to put all that behind uh -uh. you know like, I'm a true friend today, tomorrow, and forever. You know, like, you can count on me. You know. Never too busy. You know. Never too busy for you, babe. He's maybe not saying babe, but he's just like, I'm never too busy for you. You know, like, I'm here for you. Tower. So, you know. Right, things may have wow, the ten of swords again. So maybe you god dang back to back at the bottom like that. Yeah, you got a lot going on. 
books and things are falling apart thing didn't manifest or come to life for you the way that you really wanted them to you know so like like the eight of uh swords you know you were really thinking you know like dang what's going on you know like why am i not landing this uh opportunity what's going on where is it where is it it's coming this is the last deck you guys i appreciate you guys so very much for rocking it here with me today or any day that you come and stop by here on a few percent me i appreciate you guys so very much for all your time your love your support and uh like share comment subscribe please and thank you and of course only if you like i appreciate it all this is the last deck i'll be back tomorrow doing this daily read again for you and let's see what the cards say all right here we go feeling light and free and like i yes finally it's here for me you know i can make some moves now and do some great things you know because this person came into my life Hey, the swords. Oh, it was four cards. If it was three, I would have kept one. He said it may be something that you want, but is it true love? It's not love. <laughs> So, okay. Yeah, he did say it's not love, but yeah, it wasn't to the contents or context of what I thought, but still, that's, that is what he said. So, this isn't a love scenario. Yeah, and um, don't ever think that you will be without. You're too... Uh, too creative. Wow. So here you have the King of Swords here next. And then the Emperor in reverse next. The Emperor was underneath here. So it's like <sighs> deep down inside, like I said, deep down inside, you knew, you know, but you didn't have this type of energy in your life. You didn't have anybody telling you, yes, I want to work with you, you know, and this divine type of energy around you. But uh, it's like you passed the test, you know, you didn't give up, you didn't give up. So now you're about to be the queen of pentacles, honey. Like the Empress, you know what I mean? So, four cups. Like I said, if this is on a whole, like, love scenario or something like that, you, you don't, you don't see that. You don't see it, you know, and or it, it has nothing to do with that. Like, it's someone else, you know, still trying to come in and offer you love and you're just like, I'm focused on something else. You know, I just don't see it. You know, you're not making it too apparent or something like that. You had a couple things out here in terms of, you know, love. Ooh. Excuse me, guys. Um, yeah, so death to his part, uh, distant lover, you know, chocolate is his favorite, you know. Something's heading, play it safe. I mean, that could be love, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Could be a business partner. I don't. I don't know. We always gotta play it safe. 
with everything we do. So, however, I don't want to get all wrapped up in that. So then here, the last card here, I have a Six of Cups. So basically, that card always comes out. And then at the bottom, I have Seven of Wands. So once again, it's either you are highly protected here or, you know, it's all the different things that you have done. This is, you know, it's, it's, it's about to pay off finally. You know, someone sees your worth and this person makes you feel nostalgic in some type of way. I don't know. Maybe it's someone that reminds you of, you know, like an old principal or something. I don't know. I don't even know why I said that. But, <laughs> I mean, because it's like, you know, a childlike card, a nostalgic feeling. You know, maybe it's just an older guy that just understands what it's like um, in this world of sharks. And um, just really sees the uniqueness in you and wants to help you. So, that is awesome, Ophiuchus. Keep on moving forward and um, keep the momentum going. And uh, you have the power. Mm. Take care, guys. I cannot see the mouse. Turn this off. <laughs> Good night, guys.